What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys as always. And today what we're going to be doing, we're on the Town Hall 9 right now, just crushing it. Just steady crushing it. I'm really, really working hard um, at getting Dark Elixir. I, I've barched all the way up to 2100 and still going just because there's so much Dark Elixir up here that I needed to get back into Crystal um, so that I could just use my giant and goblin uh, strategy to get in and, and get some dark elixir. But today, what we're doing is we are going over. Um, we're gonna go over the warlock. I'm gonna tell everyone to say hey to YouTube. Um, I haven't done that in a while. Say hey to YouTube. You guys can see yourselves on on the YouTube's space YouTube. What the? Oh, I hate typing on here so much. <laughs> it sucks so bad. All right, there. Um, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go over this last war that we had um, The top one look at that score 120 to 21. I Mean come on. That's freaking ridiculous um, We'll come back and, and see everybody that says hey, hey to YouTube in a little bit um, So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna go over this so 120 to 21 um, 93 attacks used 84 one uh, whatever view map and we're gonna go look at um, we're gonna go look at my two raids so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys that I got six stars um, it wasn't that hard uh, the second base the second base that I'll show you on a second was so bad that if I didn't get a three star on it then it would have been really really bad but let's go ahead and watch this first one um, this base is, is pretty good uh, it's yeah, I, I would definitely say this base is pretty good. He has it upgraded pretty well, especially his air defenses. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to drop off up here at the top. We're using Go Wee Wee again. We got our two golems going in there. There go all of our wall breakers. I wasted a whole bunch of wall breakers, honestly, um, getting in there. But uh, I drop off that rage spell because I see all my troops heading in there. We've got three witches in here right now and a whole bunch of wizards just going crazy. Watch how fast this dragon dies. And where is it? Come on. And there he goes. Wait, why, why is it there? <laughs> I remember him dying really, really quick. Um, but we have our goblin, or I keep saying goblin for golems, goodness. So we have our golems in here. I have both of these rage spells going. We got a level five P.E.K.K.A. right there going crazy. We got that from Jody. She's an awesome clan leader. Um, and she's just a beast at the game. So, yeah. Um, we got our heroes in there. Our king is about to go down. Uh, that... Pekka was like, uh, excuse me, Tesla, but why are you doing double damage to me? I'm going to take you out. That's exactly what it said. I heard it. Um, thankfully, so we lost one witch right there. The other one is still up. And then I think that we might have, uh, do we have another witch somewhere else? I don't think we do. So we only have one witch up right now. We've got these wizards up here at the top with no defenses up there. So they're just slowly taking their time, taking everything out. We have one golem left. And watch what this guy does. Watch him. He's going to go from right here. Uh, over here to this archer tower and then once this archer tower see <laughs> for some reason he switched over to this wall since it already had a little bit of damage on it and he's gonna be there pretty much for the rest of the raid <laughs> so we still have these wizards up here at the top just taking out these buildings helping each other out and this is where it gets really really close so our archer queen is not focusing on that archer tower and she goes down right there so there's one defense up the witch does not that doesn't have that much health but thankfully, she has all these skellies right here, and they're getting one-shotted. But right there, that was so clutch that she spawned more right there um, because the archer tower is distracted so this wizard can come in and take out that last defense right there. And then we'll go ahead and fast-forward through this. That golem finally makes it through, and he's just like, I'm, I'm going to come help out, guys. I promise. I'm just trying to break through this wall, but I don't think I'm going to be... That witch does not do that much damage at all. Um... Or at least she doesn't, but her skellies definitely do. So there we go. One three-star, which is awesome. In the last raid, or in the last war, I got a three-star as well. And then I think I took out this one as well. Get ready for this base. All right, so this is number 17 in their clan. Look at this thing. I don't know why these guys got paired up with us. But look how bad this is. If your base looks like this, you've got some problems. You definitely rushed. But we're going to attack from up here at the top. I don't even spread out my golems because it doesn't matter. Because I know I'm just going to completely annihilate these guys. So we got three witches up here at the top um, and a whole bunch of wizards coming in. I drop a rage spell right there just to um, to get our golems going, doing work. 
Drop off the clan castle up there, which has, looks like eight wizards in it, maybe. And then here comes some more wall breakers coming to get us in the center. I'm really, really liking wizards uh, lately. Drop off that lightning spell to take out those clan castle troops. There's only like one left. And there they go, getting down. Um, and the golems are working their way in and around. His defenses are not upgraded well at all for Town Hall 10. Very, very poor. His base design is miserable. Some of these bases in this clan were actually farming bases. So the person has probably never done a clan war. Um, so I drop off five more wizards up there as well as the archer queen just to come in and help out. Um, honestly, I probably didn't even need to use my king, but, you know, whatever. No big deal. Um, <laughs> they are still working their way around. Look at all these wizards and witches right here and skellies and everything. So all of our witches are still up just doing some serious, serious work. On this base I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward um, a little bit because we have look at that that's like how many wizards is that one a lot <laughs> I counted it's a lot um, and all these skellies that are just about to crush this wall right here and head out that one golem is still full health and that is going to be it for that so that's a six star um, that's a six star clan war the uh, first raid was was good. I would say that it might be hard for some to get a three star on that. Um, let's go and look at some of these other three stars. Let's watch the raid on this one. This is by uh, Lingden3. I don't even know what this base looks like. I haven't seen this. Um, so again, not a very well upgraded base at all. Um, he is using something with golems, obviously. But this guy has, um, has Inferno Towers in there which I don't like dealing with because I don't have free spells or anything. Um, let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit and see. So he's got some P.E.K.K.A.s coming out of his clan castle right there. There go some wall breakers clearing out this whole little area. Um, more wall breakers are coming in. They're going to rage up all those wizards, and there's a lightning spell to help take out uh, those troops. But this was a really, really successful clan war for us, obviously. I guess some of it was probably the fact that uh, the other team was not that good. Um, so he is doing go wipe. It looks like he has a couple of P.E.K.K.A.s in here, uh, maybe three or four, mainly just using wizards it looks like, working their way around. Um, we can go ahead and just fast forward through the rest of this. This guy put all of his things, all of his like buildings really far away from the walls, which is stupid because you can get an easy probably 35% or 40% just from all those buildings on the outside. So that was not a smart move on his part. Um, it looks like this does kind of come down to the wire on this. He has a couple of defenses left. That P.E.K.K.A. looks like it has full health, though. Um, but ultimately, that's another three-star uh, from Lingden. Lingden three, crushing it in there. And then why don't we go ahead and watch another three-star raid right here from uh, Luke Rage. Um, Luke Rage is, is, is doing pretty good in the Clan Wars and stuff. Um, so there goes some wizards up there just to take out that archer queen in like freaking three shots uh, They are maxed out here goes some more wizards um, I'm curious as to what strategy this is I normally don't see people drop wizards first like that, but I guess that's just to get rid of the heroes um, And there's that dragon dragons suck in clan castles anytime I see a dragon in a clan castle I get so so annoyed and stressed um, So it looks like this might be a hog rider attack. Yep, so it's all hogs uh, coming in here, the guy does only have one um, does only have one Inferno Tower, and it is now down. Um, we'll slow this down again. Max level hogs are just, I mean, they, they still do good work, and there go some of them. Um, it's pretty bad against hog bases, but this isn't a hog base at any rate, um, so I knew that he wouldn't really have an issue with it uh, once he laid down all of his troops. It, was that a... What were those troops down there? I don't even know. It was probably some barbarians or something. I wasn't paying attention. Um, so here go some dragons just to come in and start cleaning up house. Uh, this is a very interesting strategy. Um, I feel like Luke Rage probably looked at the base and then figured out what he was going to do beforehand. Uh, he didn't just decide, eh, I'm just going to do an all hog raid. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he is still working his way around crushing it. There's only one defense left right now with that last cannon and they are just going to continue to clear house. So overall, guys, Eliminate has been doing pretty good in the Clan Wars. Um, honestly, the last couple Clan Wars before these two, I didn't do too hot. I was still kind of figuring out strategies and whatnot. But I do really like Go Wee Wee. It works awesome for me. Um, so that's 120 
uh, to 21. They used 50 of their attacks and only got 21. That's miserable. Uh, let's go back in here. See who all said hey. Uh, Moldus Bay. <laughs> How you do? What kind of video are you? I'm not mailing any kinds of videos. Laugh a lot. Um, sweet. So I'm excited for us to... We're looking for a new opponent right now. So I'm definitely going to keep these Clan War videos up for you guys. If y'all like Clan War videos and you like seeing how Eliminate does, leave a like for me down below, guys. Let's see if we can break 1,500, maybe 2,000 likes on this video. That would be awesome uh, because you guys rock and you know that. But we are pushing uh, about 10 minutes right now, guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Again, that is a six-star Clan War for me, which... Hey, I'm pretty happy with. Now I got a lot to live up to. Um, I'm gonna try and stay around, stay around, stay around, for around four, four for five stars in every one, uh, every clan war, and hopefully I can get six if we uh, find another clan that isn't doing so hot. But that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Again, leave a like down below. Um, my app nano code is in the description as well. If you guys want to help me out when it comes to streaming and making videos for y'all, that would be awesome. But thank you so much for watching, guys. And hey, as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me. All right. I'll see you guys later.